How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today, I'm going to show you how to remap this caps lock key in Windows without using any software at all. I don't know anyone that actually uses this caps lock key, so most of the time, people actually don't want this here, and accidentally pushing it is kind of annoying sometimes, because sometimes you hit it, and then you end up typing caps lock, and you're like, oh, what's going on? And then you got to go back and press it specifically to get rid of it. So sometimes it's a little better off to just kind of turn this into like a dead key, or something else. Now what I recommend to do instead is turn this caps lock key into the enter key. Why? Because a lot of times when you're surfing the net, you're using one hand on the mouse and the other hand you have on the keyboard like this. Anytime you want to type something into the search bar, you have to navigate your mouse over to the search bar, click it, right? And then you get to type something. Your hand is somewhere over here with the mouse and then you got to remove it, click enter, and then you move your hand back to the mouse. So what happens is if you have to do this once in a while, you end up moving your hand back and forth a lot, and this is quite annoying. What you can do instead is assign this caps lock key and into an enter key instead. For example, you want to go to Gmail, so you click on the search bar, and then you push G, and right away, most of the time it knows that's the most frequently used thing on your browser, so it'll go, once you push just one letter, it'll be like gmail.google.com, right? And then, you don't have to lift your hand and push enter here anymore, you can just leave your hand on the mouse and just push enter with your pinky and voila, you, you got it. And this works with a lot of websites surprisingly. For example, you want to go to Amazon, you just push A and then you press caps lock and that's really enter. And then this makes everything really, really fast. You just got to try this. So now I'm going to show you rather than using some program that you download from somewhere that could have some virus, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it through the registry so that you don't have to download anything. You just got to uh, maneuver a little bit and type in uh, some specific codes. Just follow it along and you should be able to remap your key to whatever you want really. First hold the Windows key and click R. This means to run some program. So when you do that, a little thing pops up and then it has a command line thing where you can just type in something, okay? If you know the program, the exact one that you use, you can just type that in, press enter, and that program will pop up. Magic. It's a lot faster than using your mouse to go and search around where it is. So win R and then you type in reg ed edit. R-E-G-E-D-I-T and then click enter. This is the registry. This is where a lot of programs look to figure out what kind of settings that you have personally. So then you look up this particular setting that Windows go to see if there are any remap keys. So you just go to H key underscore local machine, okay, click in that folder, and then click under system, current control set, control, and keyboard layout. You click on keyboard layout, and then you right click on that empty area inside that folder, and then there'll be a little menu that pops up that says new, and then you click binary value, and then uh, a brand new value would pop up that says new value number one. And then you really need to change this to scan code map. These words that you type in might be kind of mysterious. It is kind of because it doesn't really spell out what you need to type um, without knowing what it is beforehand. So the program Windows goes and look at the scan code map. It's, if it's there, then it does something. So because you write scan code map in there, there's all a whole bunch of little zeros and a bunch of numbers in there that you need to decode. Uh, so then all of these works in what they call 16-bit values. Every four numbers is a 16-bit chunk, okay? So then you've got first 16 zeros, which is just there, um, just padding, I think. And then you go 02, which means there is one key to remap plus one, okay? So if you have two keys to remap, it will be 03. And then it'll be 00, 00, 00, 00. And then comes 1C00. That is the key that you want to map to. 1C happens to be the enter key. Okay, how do you know 1C is the enter key? You look up the scan code maps. There's a scan code map. This is standard um, for Windows and you can look this up and then just look at whatever key you want to map to you look at the hexadecimal number, which is 1C, and then you type that in, and then go 00, zero and then you look at what key that you want to map from, which is the caps lock key, so you look up what the caps lock is. So you put in 3A00, and then the ending, 
is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now, if you have another key you want to remap, you just put like another 1C, 0, 0, and then like 3B, 0, 0. And then you go 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 and so forth. If you have like five keys, then you just make it longer and longer. So after you do this, you just reboot the computer and the key will be magically remapped without any software. So give this a try. I've actually gotten used to the enter key being there instead of the caps lock key. It makes things a lot faster for me at least. Every time I want to type something in, go to a new web page, I don't have to move my hands or anything. It's really great. Really got to try this out. If you're interested in that keyboard I show, I'll leave a link down in the video description below. If you're interested in supporting my channel, I'll leave my Patreon link over here. Don't forget to give me a like on this video, comment down below. Let me know if you do some sort of remapping already, or maybe just turn the key dead instead. And don't forget to subscribe over here. Thanks for watching.